Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to convert 1 sixth to a percent. Now when we convert a fraction to a percent, we can start by dividing the numerator, the top number of the fraction, by the denominator, the bottom number of the fraction. This will give us a decimal. Once we have that decimal, we convert it to a percent by multiplying it by 100. And a quick way to multiply by 100 is to move the decimal twice to the right. So we need to start by converting this to a decimal by dividing. So for 1 sixth, we can set this up as 1 divided by 6. Then we go through the division process. So we have 1 divided by 6. How many whole groups of 6 in 1? How many 6's in 1? Well, we can't do that. So we need a decimal and a 0 in order to work through this. And once we have that decimal and the zero, we bring the decimal straight up into where the quotient, the answer, will be. Now we can think of this as 10 divided by 6. So how many whole groups of 6 in 10? Well, 1. And we need to make sure that 1 is above the zero, since we used that zero and thought of this as 10. And that will line us up correctly. Now we multiply. 1 times 6 is 6. Subtract 10 minus 6 is 4. Now we don't have a clean cut 0 there at the bottom, so we need to continue on here by using another 0 that we can bring down. So now we have 40. 40 divided by 6. How many whole groups of 6 in 40? Well, 6. Let me extend this division bar. So 6 up here. Now we multiply 6 times 6. 36, subtract 40 minus 36 is four. So we get four again. So we need to use another zero that we can bring down and we have 40 again. So 40 divided by six, which is six, six times six, 36, subtract 40 minus 36 is four. We can use another zero and bring that down to continue on. But you may notice a pattern here, and this is going to continue on forever, giving us a repeating decimal. Those sixes are going to go on forever. So we can stop there and convert this decimal to a percent now. And we do this by multiplying it by 100. And again, we can multiply by 100 by moving the decimal twice to the right. So let's rewrite our decimal over here, so 0 0.166, and the sixes repeat. And we need to move the decimal once, twice, to the right. This gives us 16.6 .6 repeating percent. Now we can write this as 16.6 and we can put a bar above that six to show that that digit repeats percent. So one sixth equals 16.6 .6 repeating percent. Now another option as far as writing out repeating decimals as percents is to round. And we can round to whatever place we would like. But for this example, let's round to the tenths place and the nearest whole percent. Let's start with the tenths place. So one sixth is approximately, and I'm using the approximately symbol here since we are rounding, this isn't exact. Well, we have a six in the tenths place and we know this six is repeating. So we have a six to the right in the thousandths. So this rounds up to 16.7% now let's round to the nearest whole percent and we do this by rounding to the ones place so does this round to 16 percent or 17 percent well we have a six in the ones place with a six to the right in the tenths place so this rounds up one sixth is approximately 17 percent 
So some different options there as far as writing out repeating decimals as percents. We can use a bar above any repeating digits to show that they are repeating, or we can round. So there you have it. There's how to convert one sixth to a percent. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.